If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Alright, T1 Glistener Elf here with... Trevor. Alright, Trevor. And I see what, uh, you are running. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, Claire. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Here, we can make this work. We can make this work. Alright. So, uh... I think most people who watch Modern and Good Bit know how this deck works, but for those that don't, for those for whom this is the first time, how does the deck do its thing? Uh, so basically, you're just trying to kill people with lands because, you know, what are, what are they going to do about that? Nothing, it's modern. You know, can't do anything about that. So kill people with lands means uh, get Velikit out in a yeah. bunch of mountains. So I, I want to get Velikit out. So ideally, I want two Velikits out. Um, and then to have five mountains, and then so any any time I, I a mountain enters the battlefield after that, basically I get six damage. Yeah. I get two lightning bolts. Now I'm noticing as I'm looking through here, I'm not seeing any scape shifts. This isn't that version of the list. Yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm not playing scape shift. I uh, see I play this deck because I'm not good. I can't keep <laughs> count of things very well. So I don't like having to keep count of how many mountains I have left in my deck. So I don't like. You know, scape shift to be like, oh, I can't kill you, so now I've, I've screwed. Uh, so I'm, I'm playing through the breach. Uh, it also through the breach makes it faster. Um, so the idea is, I get to. So if, if you have four mountains in play, you can through the breach um, with. So you're gonna through the breach primeval titan. Yeah. Um, so with the enter the battlefield ability, you get two lands. So, so then I'm gonna get two valakids. Um Through the breach gives a haste. Uh, so I can attack. Yep. After that, I'll get two mountains. Um, so uh, getting two mountains puts me up to six mountains total. Since they enter at the same time, yep. um, it'll they'll both trigger the Valkits, which gives me four triggers for twelve damage. And then the Primeval Titan six hits for for six with Trample. Um, so for the most part, that's going to kill people. Yep. Uh, so you can do this on turn three if you go. Uh, turn one search for tomorrow, and then turn two one of your two mana ramp spells, or like a two mana ramp spell plus Simeon Spirit Guide, or you know some combination of, of two ramp spells in the first two turns. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. And speaking of Simeon Spirit Guide, that's another advantage this through the breach version has. You can't really run that escape shift, right? Yeah, it's it, that would be pretty awkward. You don't want to rush out escape shift. You're know, like, oh, I'm gonna. Simeon Spirit Guide make mana for my escape shift. Oh, it's right. okay. I don't have enough lands. That was stupid. Thanks. So for our ramp sweep, I'm seeing, uh, in addition to guide, so for yeah. Search for Tomorrow, um, for so Soccer Tribe Elder, for Farseek. Search, search for Tomorrow is your ideal turn one play. It's really your, it's, it's actually the only turn one play. Unless you want to do like Simi Spirit Guide and like do your other ramp spells, but that's, sure. that's like questionable. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Search for Tomorrow, for, search for tomorrow uh, it'll get you your land on turn three if you cast it turn one. Um, so like I said, ideally you want to go this turn one, one of these two turn two, like sure. Soccer Tribe Elder, it's great. You know, it's a creature, it's yeah. like a half a fog a lot of times. <laughs> uh, you get to block, sack it, uh, prevent some damage. Farseek, uh, Farseek is, is the worst, um, but it lets you get it, it lets you get your dual land, so it helps you you fix colors. So you get mountains, it also can get your second green, which you want to do. And the search for tomorrow, it doesn't come in tapped, right? It, it does not, so. Uh, you get so you cast it on your upkeep and it comes in um, and it immediately puts you, you know, up, up the extra mana. Very nice. Um, so in addition to Primeval Titan, I see you have a couple other cards you can get out through naturally or with through the breach. Um, so yeah, so Woodfall Primus, like it's castable after you've you know, cast some Primeval Titans. You don't necessarily cast it very much. It's mainly there is a uh, um, you could get it with Summoner's Pact and through the breach it. Um, you know, sometimes you get people like that. Uh, so, so fun, fun thing, yeah. when you threw the breach, it um, it has the enter battlefield, uh, you know, the ETB trigger, you could destroy a land or something. Yep. Um, then you sacrifice it at the end of the turn because it threw the breach, it comes back from Persist, and you get to, you get to kill another land. Or, you and you know, still whatever. get to keep a 5-5 five, five trampler. Yeah, you yeah. get a 5-5 five, five trampler. All right, and then our next one is Samit, Samit, Salmus. So, so I, I honestly, I think, I think it's Samut. Samut. I, don't, I don't actually, I, I don't like know. That. I call her, I call her Samit. That's um, so Samit's there is sort of a pseudo uh, fifth through the breach. Um, she gives creatures haste, which is really what you want. So yeah, you can just go uh, end step, flash Samit in next turn, uh, play Primal Titan, and do the, basically the same thing with through the breach. Um, so you'll get the attack trigger. Really, really, it's like, 
if you land a primeval titan and attack with it, you're gonna win. Yeah. Like the, like the majority of the of the time that happens. So like you so you really you just want the haste. Uh, but also she she's a good threat. Um, and can help stabilize. She's a good blocker. She's got double strike, vigilance. Like, doesn't die to <laughs> bolt. Yeah. It's good. Do, doesn't die to push. <laughs> doesn't definitely doesn't can't inquo it. Yeah. She's she's a thing. She is. All right. So uh, so for our other win cons, I see that we have a uh, double Chandra. Yeah. So Chandra Chandra is good. She, like she helps you grind. Um, she also can ramp, which is obviously what you want to do. I've won, I've won some really weird games. Altiner against like <laughs> this this was against like uh, Gorya's Vengeance decks. Like for whatever for he's, like this happened twice. I've I've won against Gorya's Vengeance by. Ultimate and Chandra, because like we both just sat there not doing anything. <laughs> I was like, I'll plus Chandra. Just eventually, just, just yeah, just, eventually just like cast everything. It's like, all right, you you die. That uh, uh, interaction, sweltering suns, not uh, anger of the gods or something like that. Sweltering suns. So I'm I'm playing sweltering suns uh, because I only ever draw it when I don't need it. So the cycling <laughs> is nice. Um, Go figure. And like it. So I mean, the exile, the exile is really good. Like I wouldn't, like I wouldn't play Sweltering Suns if I weren't playing at mainboard. I, I would just go anger. Um, sure. But just being able to cycle it when it's dead, um, I, I like that. Sure, it does um, something in the dead matchups. So. Yeah, yeah. and okay. uh, and also, Chandra is also kind of interaction. She can, she can kill stuff. That's true. That, that happens. <laughs> <laughs> I just judging by the art, I'm pretty sure she kills stuff. Yeah, uh, her her minus deals four damage to the creature. Flame slash, yeah. Uh, so for our land sway, obviously you have to have a bunch of mountains. I'm seeing yeah, uh, so double cinder glade. How many basic mountains is that? So for mountains, uh, going six basic mountains, four stomping grounds, two cinder glades, um, and then like the four valkyries, obviously. Uh, you have two basic forests. They're the worst lands in the deck. You never want to draw them. They're basically there in case you get Blood Moon. Pretty um, fair enough. And yeah, it's like sometimes you want like the you maybe want like to take less damage turn one. Um, yeah. Like to play a, a search for tomorrow, but for the most part, like yeah. you don't want forests. You want to be getting to four or five mountains so that when you land Primeval Titan. Um, like you can just get two Valakits, gotcha. and then that's it's really hard to come back from. Like, Since this Valakids. isn't the uh, scape shift version, you never have to like fetch a forest so that you still have enough mountains in the deck. Right, right. You don't don't have to. I mean, like sometimes, like when you're getting up to like Primeval Titan, like I'll just fetch my forest when I have like four or five mountains already, um, just because like I want to keep keep them in. Uh, gotcha. But for like you, you don't ever want the forest early. Uh, and then I'm playing for for fetches, um, wooded foothills. Uh, obviously, like Don yeah. Color one, and then um, so a lot, of, a lot of people have been like I've seen a lot of people lately in the, in, in like these kinds of lists doing um, like two green fetch fetches and another red fetch. Um, I like three red fetches um, just because it helps you conserve life. Um, Cause I, I tend to fetch aggressively for for mountains. Um, and on top of that, uh, if you play a Scalding Tarn, it might be threatening Tina yeah. or Rug. Yeah, like, well, if you play Scalding Tarn turn one, because, like, you don't always have, like, the search for tomorrow. Yeah. It's like people are like, okay, he's got Scalding Tarn, like, you know, might be on Grixis, whatever. <laughs> and then you fetch the Stompy Ground, like, oh, I have no idea what's going That's on. That's it. If they played one of those uh, back when Teamer Scapeshift was the thing that had like, is it charmed? Yeah, it was like, yeah, they, they could put you on that. Yeah. And yeah. All right, so for sideboard, uh, if you have that real quick. Side, my sideboard. Uh, I'm never, I'm never sure if my sideboard is is going to be all that great. Well, there's one in particular I want to get. We'll, we'll yeah. get there. We'll get there. Though. So, uh, run Reclamation Sage. Um, it's just a good all-purpose. Like you, you don't want to be Blood Mooned. Um, so. Mm -hmm. Uh, Reclamation Sage is fetchable with uh, Summoner's Pack, which you play four of. Nice, nice. Um, so Obstinate Baleth, uh, good against like aggro um, and like grindier, like Liliana decks. Yes. Um, Chameleon Colossus. Uh, Death Shadow. Uh, yeah, Death, Death Shadow. It's like it's it's beating. Yeah. Um, and like you can really you, like you can reasonably activate it like. Sure. You get another. Like, like you, you can get like you can get it pretty big. Um, so then my, my boy Rurik Thar. Um, hey there. So if you don't know what Rurik Thar does, he just kind of screws everybody who's not 
trying to like just play creatures. So it's vigilance, scramble. Uh, vi- vigilance and reach. The reach, 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 reach comes up a lot. Yeah. Uh, must attack each turn if they. Must, must attack. Each, and whenever a player casts a non-creature spell, Rurikthar deals six damage to that player. So it, it doesn't target. That actually came up today. Yeah. Destroy um, target storm player though. Yeah. So storm storm can't really beat this. I mean, like they can beat it. Like they had. Like they can bounce it and like sure. it can go off. But or like it's path if it's not sky. easy. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. like, Basically, like he puts them on a three spell clock. They can they can cast three spells. If you get to attack with them, they get to cast two spells to, to deal with it. All right. Um, so playing four chalice um, sure. just does a lot. And like with uh, the four simian spirit guides, That's like you right. can get it out turn one. Seems real good in this meta. Um, so two relics. Um, okay. You know, just some some graveyard hate. Nice. Uh, two sudden shock. Uh, <laughs> Basically, like it helps against the small creature decks, um, stuff like Abzan Company, like the split second. As an effect uh, player, it breaks my heart. Yeah, but <laughs> but, and uh, yeah. Uh, it, it's pretty good against like Affinity too. Like, oh, yeah. to stop uh, um, Ravager. Ravager, yeah, Ravager shenanigans. That's a good point. Um, That's a good point. An ancient grudge, <laughs> Affinity, um, and a nature's claim, just because uh, again, you don't want to see Blood Moon and Ley Le- Light is also a pain. Um, so I, like. I'm, I'm, I feel kind of low on like my, uh, you know, like nature's claim kind of uh, things today. Um, so that's well, you haven't needed them too much. So I, far, I, right? I haven't. Like, but yeah, I, 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 it's, it's one of those things where you know it depends on the meta. Like yeah. if, if I weren't playing the four chalices, I'd probably be playing another one or two. Um, you know, depending on, on what I think I might see. Fair enough. Well, hey man, thank you very much for. All right, that's that's our cue anyway. Good times.